Okay, here's the lineup. The first machines with this similar type of tank I already did a yellow and a gold color, which were nice. And then this tank that is a little more copper, I did kind of a, the hammered. So I've done those colors, so I had to pick a different color. And I have kind of a rose red plan and another plan for the next two projects. So we went with this nice rose gold. It's what the base is going to go and it's going to offset really good with the tank now. So we got everything pretty much ready to go. Got the base done, ready to be assembled. We have a nice tray. Even though I like the metal one, it's not what I have right now, even though it goes, so it'll look pretty good. And then we have the gaskets for the boiler, and that's going to fit on. And this weekend, we'll show that we'll go ahead and put on. We're going to use this as a new fashion one for the fine thread. So we're going to use this one for the heating element. And that'll work good because we have the new stainless steel. And the wiring, I think the only thing I don't have is a cord, but that's an easy thing to get. And so that has the gasket. We're going to have the new stainless steel go on there. We got our fuse. I'm going to use one of these this time because I have these going. This is the furnace fuse they've used on many models. And I think I will, unless I order the other one. I haven't really seen, but I think I'm going to go with something like that for the fuse. Anyway, on this, that'll be good. I mean, I can always go super old school with the inline, with the coating, but um, I'll probably save this for something with one of those caps because that's going to go good with that. Now we have the base and the little feet ready. We got this apart. It's ready to be cleaned. It's... Uh, Pretty dirty, but not bad. We have a new shower screen, but here's the old one. We'll clean that up. And then, it's a nice brass one. Look, got a little calcium. We'll, it's probably been sitting in there a while, but I'll, we'll clean that up when we'll be ready. Gasket set. These are all the old ones. New gaskets. We're going to chuck these. Sometimes I save that. I don't know why, because you always get a new one. But That's all. The old gaskets are off, so it's ready to go. Probably clean this down pipe, and I think it has the right threads. You know, sometimes these pieces are broken off at one time. This one looks good, so we'll go with that. I have the old school badge. It doesn't have the little tabs, but this is a base that didn't use those originally, so I do have a sticker one, but I may go with this the old school, just to stay classic with that and glue that on. The new sticker ones never glue good. You have to put extra glue in. I always have trouble, you know, look. But I think I'll go with this one. So we got that all ready to go. I have all the original rollers and nuts. These I'm going to soak and clean off some of the rust and citric acid. We have two new clips for the ones that were missing. And then these are the two bolts. And I'll clean those up. These all came in the these all came originally with these parts, so we're really good there. Open the top knots. I may order a new one, but I have the old school spring and ball for the valve. This one's pretty good, but um, God, if it doesn't work quite right, I'll have to get that. I may order a new one anyway, but so that's all going. And we have our sight glass gaskets and washers and then the three bolts for the heating element so that's good I switched over that I have this um, guard which I'm going to use I, I tried to make I kind of the older that was really rusty I didn't like the way it looked in the end so I'm going to use this baby and I got a it's an older glass too but it's cleaned out I may clean it a bit more so we're good there we have our switch, double switch to go in. These match pretty good, but they may have been the ones. So we have that for that. And then we may go with the, I don't like the adapter I have right now for the gauge, but I'm probably gonna different, but maybe initially I'll just do the, I'm gonna get that one off. 
but we'll just do a top so it's really like the original machines, the really old ones. That's good. That this is a little bent this way. I have it straight, but I think I may just tweak this thing out one bit. Or I may just leave and leave well enough alone and not mess with it because you never know. It's pretty level, but yeah, it's not bad. But it kind of goes like this. So I was going to tweak it out a bit, but sometimes if it doesn't leak, God, the better part of Valor, just leave that thing so it works, might be a, a better idea too. So, yeah, we're going to get ready to do our, the big assembly. So it'll be working before long. We're going with the newer handle. I'm not sure of the port of filter yet, but we'll, I have several we're going to use. Whatever fits this really good. Even though I, I might have Musa initially make some new handles for here in the port of filter, invoking that color. They have those nice ones with resin I like. And I used on a different machine, so that's probably going to be what we go with there. And that's all looking good. And then, yeah, we have the bottom. So we're going to go with the classic old bottom. That This one does have the hole for the screw, so I'll do that. But, you know, often you can clip these in. You don't really need to screw them in. They're going to hold. And I usually wipe this off. But on this one, I will screw in just so we don't have moisture going down all the time. That's the only catch with those, but that's pretty good. Comes a little feet for it. So yeah, we're really, really close here. So that's that's going to be a really fun time. But I think I'll get an adapter. Maybe I'll get one of these that come up and out because because this is bent. This gets a little close to this, so I can always bring this up or kind of come out and make some a little fancy thing there that's kind of fun to do sometimes just so it has a little different look I might do that'll give it a little steampunk edge I might just 90 up come up and just poke out a little while way here so that'll look pretty cool but anyway that's it that's the color we're using we depict it it's going to look really good when it's all done and together and in the end we may just get some handles made but initially we're going to do it all classic and then uh, probably in the next week or two we're going to be just whipping out expressos on this and we'll give it a test. Pretty sure all these are sealed and we'll certainly find out, won't we, one way or another. <laughs> Anything can be fixed. That's all right. Okay, so that's this one. It's really good and I'm wearing black today. You know I am and that's why we're going to have this be black too. Okay, that's it for right now.